Hey, what's up guys? It's been a while since I turned on the camera, so I thought I'd give you a, a little tour of some of the projects I'm working on right now. I just got back from an auction, so I'll show you that in a minute. I spent about 100 bucks. I'm pretty happy with the stuff I got. Um, yesterday I got these two, these two appliances. Got a washer and a dryer. So this is someone that responded to my Kijiji ad. So I picked that up. That's just something I got at an auction a couple weeks ago. But yeah, I picked up washer and dryer. It says the dryer works perfect. So, but the washer has a broken drum. So the dryer, I've been uh, parting those out. I find uh, some new parts in the motor and um, the, the knob, the main knob over here. It has a nice component back in there. So I've been selling those and I've been doing really well with that. Uh, but yeah, the washing machine, um, again, it's just the top switches and uh, the motor. Those are my favorites. I picked up this on the side of the road. It says, working, dishwasher used three years and stored free. So it's an older one, but uh, you know, you open it up and it looks pretty good inside. You know, these racks are, are in really good shape. Um, but yeah, it's a very old machine. I'm surprised that they've been storing it for so long. But yeah, you see it's really nice and clean. Um, what am I going to do with this thing? I think I'll probably take the parts off of it. There's a there's going to be a uh, switch thing back in here. Also, perhaps the one in here. And then there's a couple of motors on the bottom. But just because it's so old, I don't know if I can sell the racks um, because it's very old. I don't know. Anyways, it's free and it works, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. I got a whole bunch of this fencing right right here. This is something that I picked up. Uh, a different Kijiji ad from that one. Uh, Kijiji ad, uh, you know, I have an ad for picking up scrap metal. A lot of people are replying to it. I've been getting a lot of good stuff. So I got a whole bunch of that fencing. It's actually really heavy, and a big pain to move around. And But at that same place, they gave me this lawn tractor. And I've been taking a closer look at it. I tried to get it going, but it has a bad starter. I put a, I have a battery that I put in, but yeah, this starter is not, not doing its job. Um, but the whole thing moves around, like it's not seized or anything. There's just a whole bunch of vines that were growing inside of it. So uh, it's been outside for a long time. And you know, there's a whole bunch of mold on it everywhere. The seat's actually not pretty, in pretty good shape. It's not too bad. There's no crack, there's, no, there's one crack right here. So, you know, I may sell this. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to part it out. I'm not going to try and fix this. Uh, it would need two uh, inner tubes. One there and one there on the back tires. And then a starter. So the inner tubes, I saw, I got priced them out $50 each. And then the starter is, uh, I think it's about $35. And uh, that's the start. I don't know what else it needs. It definitely needs a new, a new uh, pulley here. This one's shredded. So, you know, the pulleys on this thing may be all seized up. I don't know. Anyways, I'm not going to try and fix it. It's too much, too much trouble. Just take a few parts off of it and then scrap it. I have a guy that buys lawn tractors off me. And I sold him one before, just recently. I sold it to him, I think, 50 bucks. It was a Toro lawn tractor. But this one I think I'm going to part out because I saw online that the transaxle sells for about $100. Um, I saw them be selling online for about $350 brand new and people are buying them brand new so I'm pretty sure and I've seen used ones too is being sold so I'm positive I can sell this transaxle and also I saw someone uh, sold this plate this hitch plate for about 30 bucks so there's that and you know a few other parts here and there the seats I may sell try and sell that locally same with the hood. I'm going to try and sell that locally, you know, on the Kijiji. Uh, aside from that, there's a few other parts here and there. But, you know, I, a lot of these parts are pretty cheap. You can find them anywhere. And, you know, I saw them, people on eBay selling these flywheels for like 20 bucks. It's not, at that price, it's not worth the trouble of taking it off. I went to my shop today and I got some more, a um, couple, two furnaces and a hot water tank. And they gave me... A good pile of copper today. 
So I got all that copper and brass I gotta clean up. There's all the flea market stuff all snug away. I don't know if I'll make it to the flea market this week. It's, uh, what is it, Thursday today? I have a big clean out job over the weekend. Um, it's my great uncle that's passed away and uh, they're asking me to help clean up the place. Um, but yeah, so this is flea market stuff. I may not get to the flea market this week. Uh, but what I did do all over the last couple days is I cleaned up this Husqvarna saw. Uh, you may have remembered this one I got it from my drop off bin. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty lucky. So I've been cleaning it up a bit and uh, I did a compression test. You know, I have a little compression tester here that I picked up and it was like zero compression. So uh, I've watched a few, you know, small injury repair videos and uh, you know, sure enough, I found out what the problem was. This uh, cylinder is all scored up. I don't know if you can see that in the camera or not, but that's just, it's supposed to be smooth and it's very very bumpy and this ring is uh is done too that has to be replaced so there's that and there's the cylinder head thing so i got to replace both of these parts and uh you know you can get a cheap one from china for about 25 dollars shipped to your house you just have to wait a couple months for it to come in so i think i'm gonna go with that route i'm gonna go gonna order that but it's a really nice saw. Um, I'm really happy that I got to this saw before anyone else did. <laughs> yeah, my drop off bin. I was surprised. Um, and there's all the parts to go with it. The spark plug is brand new. It's never been fired. So I, I imagine that uh, the person, you know, put the spark plug in thinking that will fix their problem and it didn't. Yeah, so I'm really happy with this guy. I'm going to fix that up nice, and uh, maybe I'll sell it, but uh, it would be nice to have a backup saw, too, for myself. But, yeah, you could probably, I think you can easily sell that for 150 bucks once I get it working. Something like that is much easier for me to fix rather than the lawn tractor. You know, the lawn tractor is just so big and bulky. This thing, you just put it on a shelf while you order parts for it. You know, you just sit and wait. It's not a big deal. All right, I'm going to show you a few of the uh, auction items that I bought today. Oh yeah, this is just some more stuff from the, my shop that they gave me. Got a lot of copper these days. Scrap is really good. This thing here. Yeah, so it's still really, really good. So first thing I bought, uh, this is a post hole date banger. Post banger. We're putting fence posts in the ground. This is a big one. That's probably at least six inches, I think. Anyways, I bought it for two bucks. Can't go wrong. It's really heavy, so at least uh, if I can't sell it, it's scrap. This is the whole truck. I spent about $100 today. This came with a whole bunch of these hand tools, uh, like the, this potato rake and shovel and some other... Uh, I think this one here. This is a nice little... Nice little rake. That'll sell very well at the flea market. So I usually ask about $10 each for these things. But, you know, you get a nice one like that and you may go, you may ask for like $15. Um, this is, I imagine, so it says grown in Holland. Here in Ottawa, we have the, what's called the Tulip Festival. And Holland sends a whole bunch of tulips um, to Ottawa for the Tulip Festival. So I think that's what that was. It's a crate that used to hold, would hold all the bulbs. It's just my guess. Uh, this is a funny thing. It's a big mallet. I don't know. I think I paid $2 for this one too. It's just a log, but I don't know. It looks kind of neat. I think someone will get a kick out of that and we'll, maybe I could charge like $10 for that at the flea market. But yeah, I must have spent like $2 on it. <laughs> and a bunch of wire. So I bought this, all this wire. And along with this vise, uh, $15. $15 for both. So I can sell that, I think at least $30. Bucks. Uh, I spent $20 on this and this. So what this is, is a... Uh, this is a honey extractor for beehive. Um, 
So you put your the rack in here, or I forget what it's called, whatever the the honeycomb, the big uh, the which is a wooden rack. So you can put two in there, and so you, what you do first is use this tool. This is a cap remover, and this heats up and it melts the wax caps and exposes all the honey. And then afterwards, you put it in here. And this is, works as a centrifuge, and it just splashes the honey up against the side of the of the of the bucket. And then you just use the tap, and you pour it out into your jars, just like that. This is an expensive little dude, and uh, I think what I say twenty dollars. Yeah, I think I spent twenty dollars on both. So that's easy flip. Well, maybe not easy flip, but. Um, it's a rare, it, it's just an item you don't come across. You usually have to travel or order it in. You have to pay quite a bit for it. So um, I'm thinking I could at least make $75 off this thing. That, just a pickaxe that came with that bucket. This, is, oh, this also came with the bucket. This is just a, a shepherd's hook. It's probably a proper name for it, but it's at least five feet high. I like that. Again, I think that'll work sell pretty well. It says on it, Canadian Cooperative Wool Grower LTD. Yeah, so what else did I get, guys? I got fifth wheel, $10. I don't know, but I mean, I think, I was pretty surprised I got it at that, and I'm kind of worried that's missing some hardware that will be hard for me to find mainly the hardware that this thing mounts to. So I, I guess it, there's some sort of rail that it slides into. And then these will, you know, go into the slots and then locks into place. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try and see if I can find the rails for this, but it, I have the instruction manual and everything for it. Anyways, 10, 10 bucks, man, it's heavy. It's heavy, heavy. So anyways, that's good. I think that's pretty good. 20 bucks on this wheel here. That's an easy flip right there. I'll bring that to the flea market, I think. Uh, actually, maybe I'll just try and sell it locally. Maybe I'll just put on Kijiji just because it's so big and heavy. Uh, just to take that on and off the truck would be a big pain. It's really heavy. Anyways, twenty dollars. People love these things to put it on their, in their lawn, as a decorative piece. That lawn tractor there. I also got from that same house. I got this Schwinn bicycle, and that's in good shape. I'm really surprised. It's missing handles, but the brakes actually work really well. Um, both tires were flat when I got it, so I think I'll have to replace the inner tubes. Uh, yeah, it has like a suspension seat. I actually ordered some of these from China on eBay. Uh, I think they were 99 cents for the pair, so I ordered three pairs and a whole bunch of these end clips too. It's the next day, guys. I did a whole bunch of listings today for Kijiji. Listed this post banger for 30. I listed this wheel for how much did I do that? I think it was, I think I was asking 70 for that. And I decided to list the fifth wheel. Uh, that was, oh yeah, so 80 for this and 80 for that. Um, yeah, missing, missing a lot of hardware for that. So I'm not gonna bother trying to attach the fifth wheel to my truck or anything. Uh, that's the engine for the lawnmower, lawn tractor, I took that apart today. And there's the transaxle I was telling you guys about. Uh, these things uh, sell, sell pretty well. And this one's in pretty good shape. So I figure I can do about 80, 80 bucks, $90 on, on uh, eBay. I'm gonna try for that one on eBay. Um, there's just the rest of the lawn tractor. It's really easy to move around now. So I'll throw that uh, on, for, on my scrap pile. Bring that in for scrap on Monday. Uh, this seat is actually not too bad. I'm still thinking about taking that off. But you know, it does have a few cracks in it. Just uh, maybe someone will want it. It's half, half decent shape. 
and his deck is rusted up pretty bad. These pulleys still move. This one is totally seized up, and this one's seized up too. And uh, but yeah, so it's rusted up pretty good. I'm not gonna try try and resell that. Just, just gonna scrap it. Okay, guys, that is it. Oh yeah, I also listed this little trailer over here on GG for 350. I'm gonna try and sell that for 350. I'll make a little bit of money on that. I had to. I put new bearings on it and I put new um, wheels on it. So I'll make a little bit of money on that by sell for 350. These are some other parts that I'm going to sell on eBay that I got off the lawn tractor. So th like I was saying before, a lot of these things don't sell for very much. But, you know, $20, $15, it all adds up. So that's the muffler and the two pipes for the muffler oil dipstick and these are a couple lines uh, for the throttle sell those and this is part of the the back plate for the carburetor this is the carburetor with the two two lines there and a couple other plastic parts a little pulley that was in pretty good shape underneath all the other pulleys were pretty bad but this one seems to be pretty good bearings are still good a little lever and that's the back plate for the hitch and so that so good parts from it and was able to find the schematic for this lawnmower this lawn tractor pretty easily so it should be really good hey guys just turn on the camera to show you all my goods that i got today i helped out the family and i did a little clean out job uh, i had a great uncle that passed away a couple weeks ago uh, 85 years old so he lived a full life and uh, he was a farmer uh, he was a really great man and he did a lot of farming uh, had, he used to have a lot of land uh, but he's gradually just sold it all off uh, but like all farmers they have a lot of tools a lot of machinery that they use and so he just never threw anything out this guy it's kind of like me but at least I throw things out I like to keep things moving all the time him no he just kind of left it in the shed and kind of forgot about it so it was a great clean out job that we did today i didn't film any of anything because there was a lot of people there for me i was just kind of the scrapping guy i took a lot of the copper and some of the uh, vintage items because everyone knew that i re that i resell flea market so a lot of stuff that no one else really wanted i took um anyways i was ha i'm happy with what i got and there was a lot of uh copper that i'm going to show you guys in a minute but this is the truck what it looks like right now whole bunch of this Romex and other booster cable wires and extension cords and just a bucket full of electronics oh, I didn't even see that so there's some goodies to be had in here I think that's just uh, oh just a whole bunch of little bits that's good anyways toasters and stuff like that there's a good extension cable right there that's uh, probably resellable just old post post hole digger and this is mine I just brought it but I didn't use it didn't know what it was getting into uh, some little knickknacks here clock that didn't survive the trip this name Big Ben uh, yeah that's one of the names that you want to look out for or it's more common I guess some of them are pretty collectible and some of these are fairly generic but nonetheless it still do pretty well at least get a couple bucks from it ruler yeah so a lot of wire a lot of this R Romex is good this thing here is pretty neat it's just caught my eye and it's just an old picture it's a print at least I think it's a print okay. pretty sure it is anyways it says uh, home from the war and then at the bottom it says an incident of yeah an incident an incident of the South African campaign so I'm not sure what the meaning of that is but it's nice I like it so maybe I'll try and sell that over here got a bunch of glasses glass and some beer stubbies a couple of these apple baskets they're nice 
tape measure in there. Um, this here is just some old milking cans. And I've seen them go pretty high at auctions in the past when I have been at auctions. So this is old, old technology. You know, someone who may have, you know, a couple cows as a hobby, they may want something like this. Um, see those are, that goes right on the udder. And these are some brackets for them. Anyways, my dad wanted me to hang onto these for him because he actually worked on the farm and he used these these jugs when he worked there um, so it's kind of like it was nostalgic for him he wants me to keep them and I don't know if he's gonna he, he was kind of him and high and whether he wants to you know re restore them or something but you know we'll see either he'll keep them and fix them up or I'll sell them something like that a whole bunch of these stubbies a lot of beer stubbies today these are all Dow Porter and I'm not sure if they're worth anything. If anyone will buy them. I think people will. Anyways, so I got a bunch of those ones. These ones were down in the basement. And the basement had flooded. So a lot of the labels are not that great. Just a lot of Labatt Blue. And Labatt 50. That is a gross, gross beer. Man, I don't know if anyone, anyone out there is drank those drank that before that is an awful awful beer my grandfather used to drink this all the time and i remember i bought a case of this one time thinking that oh my grandpa always liked it so i'll give it a shot oh i could not i think i drank half of one i threw the rest out <laughs> it was that bad but see these ones here these are all still sealed up so steel sealed old beer bottles stubbies so that's kind of neat. Uh, I'm sure I'll, someone at the flea market will like those. Some soda, Pepsi, and Sprite. This, this here is a... So that would be used for something with the cows. Something to do with the cows. And back in here, just some more glass bottles. There's an old Pepsi, Pepsi-Cola. Well, it's an export. Well, that's another gross beer. Quaker State motor oil jug, but it has a hole in it. So a little pinhole is right about there. So it has a little bit of oil left inside of it. Uh, just more beer bottles and stuff. This one's full of soda. Soda bottles. So you got Coke, 7-Up, Mountain Dew. Another Pepsi, ginger ale, pure spring ginger ale, a lot of Coke. Coke bottles down there. There's another 7-Up. Yeah, so definitely I like to sell some of these glass ones at the flea, at the flea market. I have, uh, I have sold quite a few at them so far. People are really interested in those. These straps go along with those milking cans, and Dad gave me a lesson on how to do it. So basically, you wrap this around the cow, and you hook it on there, and then this hangs underneath the cow, and you can hook up the the can onto this, you know. So that's how you do that. Back in the day, now you have robots doing all the work. This old hair dryer. <laughs> kind of neat. I'm not sure if anyone would want to. Sit. They say it works. Not sure if anyone wants to buy that from me. But also some beekeeping boxes. That's the stand for them. And then a couple of hive boxes. In here, I haven't gone through any of this yet. Sorry, guys. But um, the light is leaving. So. I may not get through this. If there's anything interesting, I'll show you guys later. But this was all on my uncle's uh, kitchen table. <laughs> they said they just put everything, put anything metal into a bucket. 
that's it. So this one was on his kitchen table. This was on his kitchen table. And I think there was one more or two more. Anyway, so there's lots of these wrenches and sockets in here. Yeah, so we'll go through that neat old wrench. My uncle Leonard never married, but he was a very uh, smart man. You know, he had his mind all the way up until the end. And he nev he knew everyone's birthday. Every all the kids, he knew everyone's kids. He knew the whole neighborhood. This little pulley, that's kind of nice. Not sure what this is, guys. Maybe someone out there can tell me. Put that in the comments down below. If you know what this this might be. But it's it's uh, porcelain. It has a lid. So, not sure what that might be. Some cow pills, syringes for for cows. There's the needles. So I might sell that in a bundle at the flea market. Just check a little calculator, I think. Let's see here. What kind of brand is it? I haven't really looked at this yet. Just old electric calculator. <laughs> well, not sure if anyone would want to buy that. But this drill is pretty neat. It's a heavy duty sucker old cord guy there said oh make sure you plug it in test it it's like uh no i'm not plugging this thing in are you crazy oh, yeah that's a big guy it's got a broken piece there uh this tank grinder another box that was on my uncle's kitchen table or so i've been told whole bunch of horseshoes big pry bar these things are good i think for resale people like those to for decoration old wrench ruler sewing box and this is a sprayer uh, so that scrap that motor and there's a fogger uh, electric fogging machine so that's kind of the collectibles over there and over there. And now we're just going to get into the scrap, but it's not definite. But a lot of this stuff is just going to be scrap, scrap-ish. <laughs> that is from the lawn tractor I took apart the other day. But I got a battery, some whole bunch of aluminum pots and pans, and a whole bunch of these motors. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six or so motors. This one's pretty big. This one's very big. It's a good size. And a drill there, but it's pretty old, rough shape. Whole bunch of pots and pans. And a couple, this one's cast iron, cast iron pot, pan. So I'll try and sell that one. And there was another one that was pretty interesting can't really figure out where it went. Anyways, so there's that. And this is the copper score right here. Now, I don't know exactly what it was used for, but I'm assuming it was uh, lightning. It had something to do with lightning on the barn. So they would use this to as a lightning rod. So that's what these are. These big spikes right here would go into the ground as a ground for to for the lightning to go instead of going through the barn. And yeah, it's just a big pile of it. It was really hard to get onto the get onto the truck. So what I've been doing so far is just been cutting it up a little bit. Got these spools too. Not sure yet if that is going to be brass or copper. Um, we'll just have to scratch it and find out. I think it's going to be pure copper. But I've been cutting off a few brass pieces here and then just kind of putting it into a bucket so it's easier to 
to manage. Yeah, that's pretty good stuff. So that's going to, even though it's got the patina on it, you can still sell that to the yard as copper number one. And then just a old box with some more copper wire in it. So I'm going to clean that all up, strip it, and see if I can get any copper out of it. What's up guys? It's Sunday and I'm at the flea market. It's pretty nice out today. I have uh, all my stuff set up already. And I got here, mm, I must have made it here about 5.30 in the morning. And I got a good spot. So I'm all packed in. I just wanted to show you my my booth here. I'll give you a little tour of what my booth is and what my setup looks like. I did it a little bit differently this time. I did like a U-shaped, whereas before I was just doing like two tables right in front of each other, right in front of the truck. But I like this setup a lot better. I can fit a lot more stuff inside. And then I just hang out on the outside. I let people browse uh, on the inside of the booth. So I think it's a good setup what I have going on right now. Uh, but I've already made a couple good sales. I sold a, a bunch of tools to one guy just now for $20. And uh, a bunch of other stuff uh, this morning. But uh, this is one thing I want to show you guys right now. I did my uncle's clean out and I forgot to show you this in the, it was in the front seat. It's a Monopoly, old Monopoly board. Look at that. It has all the wood pieces and everything. All these old dice. Anyways, I got, I got people in my booth so I better get back and uh, I'll show you guys in a second what, what uh, what the booth looks like. Thank <laughs> you. 